somewhere. Hi there, this video is called Live Possible Re um, well, Possible Reanimation of Lynch Trust Video UK 2022. New businesses yeah, she can might, set up. She might resign. And families can afford an even better life. She might not. That's why from She's day in trouble, one, though. I've been ambitious for growth. Since the 2008 financial crisis, the potential of this great country has been held back by persistently weak growth. I want to deliver he made a, mistake a with that chancellor. high wage, high growth economy. It's what I was elected by my party to do. That mission remains. People across this country rightly want stability. That's why we acted to support businesses and households with their energy costs this winter. It's also the case that global economic conditions are worsening. You smoked the market, your Chancellor. Of Putin's appalling war in Ukraine. And on top of this, debt was amassed helping people through the COVID pandemic. But it is clear that parts of our mini budget went further and faster than markets were expecting. So the way we are delivering our mission right now has to change. We need to act now to reassure the markets of our fiscal discipline. I have therefore decided to keep the increase in corporation tax that was planned by the previous government. This will raise £18 billion per year. It will act as a down payment on our full medium term fiscal plan, which will be accompanied by a forecast from the independent OBR. We will do whatever is necessary to ensure debt is falling as a share of the economy in the medium term. We will control the size of the state to ensure that taxpayers' money is always well spent. Our public sector will become more efficient to deliver world class services for the British people. You've got a Sunday government in charge. Sorry. Less rapidly than previously planned. I met the former Chancellor earlier today. You haven't got enough oop and enough power to say. I'm really sorry to lose him. He is a great you're not, friend. You're not strong enough, Liz. He shares my vision to set this country. You need to be a lot more aggressive. Today, I have asked Jeremy Hunt to become the new Chancellor. Mm. He's one of the most experienced and widely respected government ministers and parliamentarians. He is at the moment. And he shares my convictions and ambitions mm. for our country. Very interesting. He will deliver the medium term fiscal plan at the end of this month. He will see through the support we are providing to help families and businesses, including our energy price guarantee that's protecting people from higher energy bills this winter. And he will drive our mission to go for growth, including taking forward the supply side reforms that our country needs. We owe it to the next generation to improve our economic performance, to deliver higher wages, new jobs and better public services. I guess you won't resign to then. ease the burden uh. of debt. I have acted decisively today because my priority is ensuring our country's economic stability. You destroyed As it. Prime Minister, I will always act in the national interest. This is always my first consideration. I want to be honest, this is difficult, but we will get through this storm and we will deliver the strong and sustained growth that can We're in a session. Prosperity of our We're all going to spend for generations less money because of you. I'll now take questions. You're gambling with our children's um, futures, Liz. We don't trust you. Ben Riley Smith, Telegraph. You're a gambler, Liz Truss. Can you explain to the public why you think you should remain as Prime Minister? Yeah, he's right there. You're a gambler. I'm absolutely determined to see through what I have promised. To deliver a higher growth... You're not strong enough. You're... ...United Kingdom to, to see us through the storm we face. We've already delivered the energy price guarantee, making sure people aren't facing huge bills this winter. But it was right in the face of the issues that we had that I acted decisively to ensure that we have economic stability. You're nothing like Margaret Thatcher. It's important to people and businesses right across our country. Uh, nothing like Margaret Thatcher. Not powerful enough. <laughs> Thank you.
understand you were the one that wanted to cut the 45p rate. You stood on a platform to win the leadership of the Conservative Party on a platform to cut corporation tax. You and the Chancellor, the ex-Chancellor, designed this budget together in lockstep, we're told, at times in secret, the two of you. He has to go because of the fallout from it. How come you get to stay? Quite right. Our priority is making sure we deliver the economic stability that our country needs. That's why I had to take Shut the louder. decisions. Be more aggressive. The mission remains the same. We do need to raise our country's economic growth levels. We do need to deliver for people across the country. We're committed to delivering on the energy price guarantee, which people are already seeing in their bills. But ultimately, we also need to make sure that we have economic stability. And I have to act in the national interest as Prime Minister. Um, yep, she's a loser, ain't she? Should be gone in two days. Prime Minister, but given everything that has happened, what credibility do you have to continue government? What I've done today is made sure that we have economic stability in this country. Jeremy Hunt as Chancellor is somebody who shares my desire for a high growth, low tax economy. But we recognise because of current market issues, we have to deliver the mission in a different way. Resign. That's what we are absolutely Resign. committed to do. You're not achieving that stability. Very enough open to it. A very difficult time globally. Uh, Robert yep, she's a loser. The uh, former Tory Chancellor, Philip Hammond, has just said that you have totally trashed the Tory party's election-winning reputation for economic competence. Will you apologise to your party? Well, I am determined to deliver on what I set out. She what doesn't I care about anyone. She's going to run us all down. We need to have... We'll all get coronavirus and get ill again at this rate. That we are facing very difficult issues as a country. And it was right in the national interest that I made the decisions I've made today to restore that economic stability. That's restore the country. So we can deliver, I think. first of all, helping people through this winter and next winter with their energy bills, but also making sure that our country is on the long term footing for sustainable economic growth. Thank you very much, everybody. No, she doesn't care. There you go, guys. You've heard from the very um, unkind uh, Liz Truss, which doesn't like the royal family. She wants to abolish the royal family, and she said that when she was a little there Pratt leader back in 1994. So do you trust her? Well, it's up to you. If you like this video, please a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel, Sign Gems. Please, my friend Sparky and Jimbo, on the ITF Friday feeling every Friday, 3 to 5 p.m. the afternoon. Diesel tax 1500 to 1700 on the Surrey Hills radio station show today on Friday, every Friday. And it's Friday today, the 14th of October. And listen to me on the Waking Radio Station show, the Lara show with John Andrews every Sunday on Sunday, Waking Radio Station show at 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Thanks for listening to me. Please subscribe to me, Sean Sign Gems, on the Force BBQ. I'll probably be having a break now. My voice is going. I have got laryngitis, so it's not coronavirus. So wish me luck. Can't have a few days break. Might be on a waking race station show this Sunday. Might have a break. I'll be on today, mate. Bye, everyone. Hope the story is race station. So, these guys, Michelle Sanjay.